Joe, you called me after I signed up for the A320 video course. At the time, I had already committed a small amount of money to secure a spot with another flight school in some other place. You did tell me about the course that 1SP offers, One Step Prep. Okay, long story short, in hindsight, being what it is, I should have canceled and gone to your training. Your videos were indispensable. I shared the info with all my class. I believe most everyone signed up for them as well. Knowing what I know and spending what I did, I chose poorly, live and learn. This is the message. I'm gonna keep it completely anonymous from one of the users of our site that purchased the uh, videos. They signed up with us here to prep for the A320 type rating. And later on, I reached out to them as I do with many of our members. When you all enroll with us, sometimes you might get a random phone call from myself or from Juan saying, hey, it's Joe and Juan, the guy from the video. We just wanna make sure that uh, everything is going uh, the way it should be going for you in your training and you're on track to have a successful outcome. And oh, by the way, we offer all these other products and services and hopefully we can help you out somehow. I made that call with this gentleman and that was his feedback after having gone elsewhere. And I don't want that to be the case for you. And so I'm going to share with you in this video, what is the full process for you to acquire not only a type rating, but also an FAA ATP license. So let's start out with the first thing here. For those of you that are interested in acquiring your ATP license, you need to complete something known as ATP CTP. This is going to be step one. The ATP CTP course is a six day course, four days of ground school, one day in a fixed space sim, one day in a full motion sim. The course typically runs somewhere around $4,000. It's available at either a 142 school, uh, some 141 schools, or in a 121 airline environment is typically where you can find this program. It is a required program, unfortunately, to acquire or to get your ATP license, but moreover also to take the written test. So the ATP CTP course is what gives you a completion certificate. And with the completion certificate, you take that to a testing center so you can actually take your multi-engine ATP written test or single engine. But the ATP multi-engine ATM is what it's referred to as, is what you're gonna want. Now, I have taken my ATP CTP course. I've invested my 3,900, 4,000, 4,500, whatever for the sake of calculation, we'll say $4,000 and six days worth of training. I got my completion certificate, which the completion certificate is gonna allow me to go and take my multi-engine test, my ATP test. Keep in mind, this ATP course has not really done a whole lot in the way of preparing you to pass this written exam successfully, which is where there are other prep solutions in play such as ASA and Glime and Shepard Air and all these other prep sources that are out there for you to actually prepare for the written. So honestly, the ATP CTP is a box that needs to be checked for you to get a completion certificate to actually really go take this written exam. And now with the written exam, present yourself for the practical. Now the practical, as you well know, can be done either in a light twin, which is a way that it, it's not uncommon to happen, but more commonly what happens is the, the student will go for a type rating. And in the process of you getting a type rating, let's say you are actively flying this aircraft, say 737 or A320, but you're flying it on a foreign license. You have a Colombian license, or maybe you have a Nigerian license, or you have some ICAO license from wherever, and you're looking to get your FAA ATP. On this foreign license, you have a type rating. Let's say in this case, B737. That license now, what we need to do is see if with the license there's certain prerequisites that are met to plug you into what is referred to as an upgrade course, which is a shortened initial. This upgrade course, okay, we offer it here on the 737 and the A320. It's going to take your foreign license and say, okay, do you have, are you currently serving as an SIC and do you have an SIC type? If you have an SIC type and you're currently serving as an SIC, we can welcome you into this upgrade course, which is a shortened course that will lead you to the practical test to acquire the FAA ATP license. I'm gonna go through this several times. So if I'm going fast, I'll slow it down and hit it from different angles and hopefully explain it in a way that makes sense to you. Let's say you actually have not just an SIC, but let's say you have a PIC, okay? You have a PIC rating on your type, on your uh, license. If you have a PIC rating, and you have operated that aircraft as a crew member within the last 35 months, call it three years, then you also would qualify for this upgrade uh, curriculum over here. Now the upgrade curriculum is going to be three days of ground school, followed by three days of simulator, and one day of checking. So it's a seven day course, basically. Three days of ground, three days of sims. In the sims, you have two of training, one is a loft, and then you have your oral and your check ride. It's a whole seven day deal. The seven day course here 
is a lot better than doing an initial because a seven day course is your shortened upgrade version. A full initial would have taken 17 days of training plus a few days of time off. So you're really looking at about 22 ish days for a full initial and seven days for the upgrade. Our upgrade course right now is going to run you seven days and $7,900, which means between the ATP CTP course, which we actually charge 3,900 for at the moment of making this video. All this is subject to change, of course. 3,900 plus your 7,900, you're looking at a total investment monetarily of $11,800 and you walk away assuming you earned your license and type rating with a FAA, ATP, and the type. Now, hopefully this sheds some light and brings some clarity on the process. So I wanna also bring some things to light on some questions. Once you, uh, that commonly we get, okay, once you initiate an upgrade course, you do your three days, and, and I'm saying maybe you go to some other school, you're like, oh, you know what, I wanna go to some other academy because I found it for $100 cheaper, okay, which would be ludicrous, by the way, to go anywhere other than here, but hey, you find it, you go to it, you do your three days of ground school, you realize you're on track to have an experience similar to what this gentleman just wrote us here, and you make the decision that, you know what, I'd rather go somewhere else. Well, you can't transfer to some other academy and say, I already did my three days over here, can I do it over here? That's not the way it works. The reason that is the case is because when an FAA, when the FAA approves a curriculum, okay, this curriculum right here is titled Upgrade. In the Upgrade curriculum, there are prerequisites, course objective, and a completion standard. For you to enter into the curriculum, you have to meet the prerequisites and you have to complete the curriculum in its entirety at the academy that is issuing the curriculum in order to finally get to the checking event, the practical, at the end. Which means you can't simply transfer from some other academy into a new curriculum and bring what you did. That's not the way it works. So basically, wherever you start is where you have to end at an academy or you can simply just start all over at another school. You could do that. Hey, I'm at this academy. It does, it's not working very well. I wanna go and hang out with you guys now and do your training over there. Okay, you're just gonna have to start again from the beginning. So what I'm saying is make sure you choose wisely because once you begin, you're there. And hopefully you're gonna operate or, or, or get trained by an academy that genuinely values the outcome of your training. Uh, you have a successful outcome. They really wanna see you excel and do well. And not only that, the academy is owned and operated by pilots, unlike many of the academies out there, okay? So consider all these things that I'm throwing your way here. Uh, hopefully this makes sense. If it doesn't, please leave comments below, like, share, subscribe, hit our website, onestepprep.com, and hit the Contact Us tab, because there you can find contact information for Diego and Alexis, who are very well versed in this, and they can help you as well to make a better determination as to, hey, which direction should you go? But I can absolutely assure you, if you're looking to get a type rating, looking to get an FAA ATP, this is the way to go. As far as light twins, in my uh, honest opinion, if you're actively flying a type like a 7.3 or an A320 in your country, I would not advise going to fly a light twin uh, because you're gonna operate an airplane that you likely haven't operated for a long time, if ever. The oral exam is gonna be different. There is an oral always when there's a practical involved. And that being said, the oral exam is going to incorporate many things in the world of light twin GA flying that you likely have not looked into in some considerable amount of time. Whereas if you come to a type rating like this, you're gonna be expecting an oral very uh, similar or common to what you've had likely your entire career. It's aircraft specific, three things, memory items, limitations, lights and switches. So you're very much in your wheelhouse, you're not operating in foreign airspace, you're operating in a sim, it's a familiar environment, and with familiarity that breeds of course confidence and ultimately success, right? So you guys know the name, Joe Munoz, one is your friends and training program success here, onestepprep.com, don't be like the gentleman, okay, that, that writes to us with a poor experience and I really hate to see these things come through when we have these, these uh, messages of poor experiences that people are having elsewhere and they're trying to get over here but they would have to start over and you know just come be with your friends from the beginning with a team that wants you to do well and excel as I already said all right we look forward to working with you we'll see you here